Remember in the last video how I ended it saying that I'm going to be tanking? Well, I kind of put what I meant by that in the whining and crying, crying post, like I mentioned before in the previous video. But I think I might as well take a moment to explain what that means. This is pretty much what this video is. This is, I guess, going to be a prologue. As a prologue, also, there are some things that used to be there that aren't going to be there in the future. One of which is changing around the cars. I didn't realize this. It's actually a feature that is there. It's just inconsistent. Some races have it and some races don't. This race that I did before the last race I facilitated had it. The more recent race didn't. I have no idea. But anyway, also, like a prologue, I'll get background information and quit ranting. Because this video in general is going to be a rant, so there's no point in double ranting. So anyway, let's begin, folks. This is sort of kind of inadvertent tanking. This particular race, if I remember correctly, I was C-Class driver rating and D-Class sportsman sip rating. And it kind of ties back to another previous video, the chaos of my favorite one, because that system happened perfectly. At one point, I was pretty close to A class driver rating, and I don't, it's hard to tell if you're close to S class sportsman separating or not because that doesn't have bar, but again, there's no point in double ranting. <sighs> but anyway, again, it went chaotic because. Everyone at the beginning of the game, whatever class they were, it was hard to truly tell how good people were at that point because there just wasn't enough foundation for the classes to be set. So, aka, tons of chaos happened and I went down to C and D from A and A. Again, more detail on that in the, the Chaos in My Favor video. The true and really prologue starts here. I inadvertently tanked because I didn't even realize that was going to happen and if it were up to me that wouldn't have happened but nonetheless I got into this situation so here is the situation. I won the pole by this race by four tenths of a second on an oval and I have a controller. If you have a steering wheel you're halfway already to winning every race. You don't necessarily have to be a super good driver to be really good with a steering wheel. Because it just, it works that much better than a controller. I put about the absolute max amount of track width into my lap. I couldn't have gone much faster. I would have hit a wall. And I was like four or five tenths of a second off what the leaders did with a wheel. And I was still three or four tenths quicker in the race. But, again, this goes back to tanking. More specifically... This would be considered a good tanking race in general because I qualified way in pole, so that means I should be able to run away from the rest of the field pretty easily. But nah, because this is an oval, that strategy failed miserably. Which kind of starts this tanking mini series. It ain't even really a series, it's gonna be kind of random because. It's going to be absolutely chaotic. Even though it's the best strategy to use, it's still going to be chaotic because ovals you can't really tank because there's draft. And draft more than makes up getting the pole by four tenths of a second on an oval. Which is kind of stupid, but that's just how it is. And there's also going to be tons more chaos too because people might realize what I'm doing. And try to make sure I don't do it. Because they're going to see a D-class driver with a time that's within a half a second of a top 10 in world time. And they're going to get suspicious. So, well, as most prologues do, I'll leave it on a cliffhanger. Da, da, da. I won't leave this race on a cliffhanger. I did end up winning. Barely. Even with inadvertent tanking. But the cliffhanger is going to be, will advertent tanking work? Let's see, folks. Let's see. Let's just trust the process and find out that 76er don't even have a player played at University of Kentucky. 
how can you draft people but not draft someone who played at UK? They get, like, all the top draft picks, and yet you still don't have someone who played at UK. You had Darlin' Snowell, and you got rid of... Uh, whatever. Not double rant. Not double rant. Trust the process. Trust the process. <laughs>